Good morning. Welcome to the September 7th, 2022 Board of Sanitary Commissioners meeting for the Muncie Sanitary District. I hope everybody's well. Uh, I'd like to call the meeting to order and ask you to rise with me and follow me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for that. Uh, roll call. There are no excused absences. Everyone's present, so we have a quorum, and we can conduct our business as stated on the agenda today. So we'll move right into that with a consideration of the meeting minutes from uh, August 24th. Uh, these were previously distributed by Maggie. Again, nice job. Anybody wishing to make any corrections? If not, I would accept a motion to approve as submitted. I'd like to move to approve, please. I'll second. Motion by Tanya, second by Adam. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those the same. The meeting minutes are approved. Uh, moving into the register of claims uh, for this period totaling $818,749.96. These were also sent previously with some questions and explanations. Anybody wishing to clarify the claims for the benefit of the public? I would. I have a few that I'll highlight for us. Thank you. On the first page, uh, we paid NAPA $3,808.50, and that's for 50 toters, so roughly $76 per toter. Um, and toters are the, the trash cans that people take out for us to pick up trash. Um, on page two, Baker Tilly, we paid them $3,268.75, and that's for work done with our budgeting process. On page three, you see we paid Jack Doheny Companies uh, several different invoices here, but the total is $18,215.80, and that's for work done our, on our camera trucks. Uh, we also paid Topcon Solutions. $10,260, and that's for three tablets, which are the Survey Crews data collector uh, devices. Uh, let's see, on page four, we paid Schneider General Contracting $8,900 for work done on West Carson. We paid Level 365, $17,751. Uh, for telephone work, and if you recall, that's where Tim came and gave us an update on some revised telephone equipment that we needed. Let's see. Uh, let's see. We also paid on page 11, we paid uh, Baker Tilly uh, another $9,122.50, and that's for some work uh, they were doing on some treatment rate calculations that we are um, considering. And I think those are the only ones that I wanted to highlight for us. Thank you, Tanya. Mm -hmm. Adam, any claims uh, to clarify? Yeah, I'll just touch on uh, page 12. We have a grenade bomb tool for root cutting. We are not using explosives for, you know, root clearance. It's actually an attachment for uh, not quite a revactor truck, but a similar entity, which the name escapes me at the moment because I can't remember all the names of the things that we own. Like the pipe hunter? Or something. Yes, mm -hmm. the pipe hunter. There we go. Magic. Tom's nodding. I think we're right. Right-esque. Good enough. Um, just wanted to make sure everybody's aware we're not buying explosives for general work within Muncie and uh, of course the other one just to talk about our engineering services just a little bit uh, Bureau of Water Quality concrete pad design this is kind of we have a grant to basically make a mus muscle farm so that kind of tied into that that's the only comments I have thank you Adam David yep, nothing to add thank you Good. and none for me uh, with no further discussion, I would accept a motion to approve the claims as submitted for $818,749.96. So moved. Second. Motion by Adam, second by David. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed the same. Claims are approved. Uh, on the agenda today, we do not have any old business listed. Um, any old business topics, Tanya? None for me. Thank you. Adam? No, sir. David? No. None for me either. Uh, John Barlow. Morning, John. Good morning. John Barlow, District Administrator. Just a couple of updates for the board. Uh, we uh, visited the 
county commissioners yesterday, Stephen Brand and I, and uh, very happy to say that uh, uh, we appreciate their cooperation on a uh, memorandum of understanding regarding the, uh, the log jams here in town along the bridges. Uh, we entered into a mutually beneficial agreement which would uh, um, allow Muncie Sanitary District to procure services or self-perform some of the log jam removals and the county commissioners agreed to go ahead and help us financially um, to uh, uh, reimburse some of those costs um, with a, a finite amount per year of $50,000. That was an MOU uh, was uh, presented to the board for their review, uh, county commissioners, and they agreed to that yesterday at their, uh, at their meeting. So we really appreciate uh, their cooperation in that. Uh, you mentioned uh, level 365 and the phones. Um, Tim and Dustin have been delivering the actual new phone sets. They are at the departments, and we'll go um, live on those on Tuesday the 13th. Uh, Tim has just sent out some emails for some training uh, that everyone will have on these, and then we'll uh, hook these new systems up then, and um, hopefully everything goes uh, as smoothly as we expect them to go. And then the uh, next week on the 14th, we'll have our initial meeting with the uh, State Board of Accounts. It's their annual visit uh, for the uh, various entities here in town, city, public works, and sanitary district. So we'll, that's just an introductory meeting. It only lasts about 15 or 20 minutes, and uh, we'll be meeting them in the mayor's office uh, the 14th at 10 a.m., I believe. That's right. Do you have any questions? Thank you, John. Tanya? No, none from me. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. No, thank you, John. David? No, thanks for the update, John. Yep, I'm good as well. Thank you, John. Thank you. Appreciate it. Under new business, we have two items listed today. The first one is Resolution 2022-03, a transfer of funds within the MSD uh, with Dina Cox. Only our third resolution. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good morning, Dina good morning. Cox, Financial Billing Manager. Uh, I'm just asking for the board to approve the resolution 2023-3 for the transfer of funds for the uh, water pollution control facility. Um, these funds I'm not adding to the line items. I'm just transferring from one fund item to another. Um, would you like me to go through the list? Please, please and thank okay. you. Uh, I'm going to transfer 100000 from fund 611-88-443-015, which is an improvements. Uh, that will be transferred to fund 611-84-421033, which is repair and maintenance of equipment. Uh, 55000 to be transferred from 611-84-439071, other services and charges, to fund 611-84-421022, which is material and supplies. And the third is 100000 from fund 611-84. 439071 other services and charges again uh, to be transferred to fund 611-84-422022 which is fuels oils and chemicals thank you, you have any questions? and to be clear 611 all this is within 611 which is sewer maintenance correct 611 is the revenue budget which is it's the revenue budget yes yeah, the revenue the only thing everything is getting transferred within the department the only thing that is not is the first one it's coming from a 611-88, which 88 is not specified to a particular department. It's for all the departments to be able to use. Okay. Thank you. Tanya, any comments or questions? So I'm going to paraphrase, make sure that I say this correctly. We have the dollars in our budget. We just need to move them from one account to the other in order to be able to use those funds because our, our accounts are restricted for what we can uh, pay out of them. Is that correct? Correct. So um, we are unable to, to pay a claim out of improvements, but we can pay the claim out of repair maintenance of, equi of equipment. Is that correct? You can pay claims out of the improvements, but when water quality, uh, or excuse me, when the plant had to purchase some big ticket items, they actually used out of their own account, which is Fund 84. Okay. Um, they could have used the 88, which would have helped them. But since they used their 84, I'm just trying to reimburse some of that money back because they don't have enough money for the rest of the year. Understand. Okay. And so then on the second one, the $55,000 that you're, you're transferring or asking us to transfer from other services and charges, 
you're unable to pay a claim from that and you want to move it to materials and supplies? In regards to State Board of Accounts, they don't allow, um, so other services and charges is a 4-3 number. If you look at the 4-3-9-0-7-1, it's a 4-3. I can't, I can't do a money move from a 4-3 to a 4-2 or a 4-3 to a 4-1. I can do money moves within the 4-3 account numbers, but if it goes from a difference, like I say, a 4-2 or a 4-1, I have to go to the board for approval. State board, that's a state board of accounts. Um, basically, that's what they need for approval. In order for the controller's office to do this, they have to have approval, because otherwise state board of accounts can write us up for not. I understand. So you need the, the board <coughs> approval, that I understand, but why do we need the 55,000 in materials and supplies? Oh, because they have used up most of the materials, like I said, they've, they've had to purchase a lot of big ticket items. So that particular fund is low. Um, their other services and charges is not. So I'm just taking some of that money and transferring into the material and supplies. And it's the same thing with the um, other, the fuel oils and chemicals. Gas prices obviously have gone up. Um, and so they're kind of, and they've used it for some other items. Um, but basically, would you, polymer? polymer? Yeah, that polymer. I don't know what that is exactly, but <laughs> so, yeah. So there, those line items are low. Other service and charges are, they're fine. So I'm taking some of that money and moving it over. Okay, thank you. No further questions for me. Thank you, Tanya. Adam? Um, I'll just to kind of clarify for the folks that don't budget daily, um, this is really a bookkeeping endeavor. The the money's all there. There's no funny money. It's not being, you know, magically moved from accounts that don't exist. This is the same thing I have to do is in my role as public works director as a city. You have to occasionally move money from one account that's underutilized to an account that's utilized. It's the same amount of money. You're just kind of putting it to where you're using it more appropriately. So this is purely a bookkeeping endeavor, at least I think it is. Yes. Yeah. So I just want to kind of take all the the mumbo jumbo out of it and say, <laughs> hey, we're just you know kind of cleaning our budget up a little bit so that we're using the right line item for the right product instead of trying to basically hide stuff, which you can do with budgets. That's the opposite of what we're doing. This is as transparent as you can get because if we buy something out of materials, we want it to be materials that we buy out of it, not try to put things under the wrong accounts. So that's correct. This is the right thing to do. I just want to kind of shed a little light on it because this is it makes no sense to the ordinary person because the ordinary person says I've got thousand dollars I can buy my groceries whatever. That's not how government works or public utility works. So sorry I, I just wanted to kind of clear that up as best <laughs> I could. If it's not clear I apologize. I will leave it to Dina. Thank you all. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. David? I have nothing to add. So we're staying within budget, and you don't anticipate we're going to go over budget for the rest of the year? I mean, with inflation and things that you mentioned. Correct. You anticipate we're going to go over Oh, I don't anticipate, no. We're, this, this is staying within the budget. Okay. Any other questions or comments, Tanya? You good? Okay. Uh, with no further discussion, I'd uh, accept a motion to approve Resolution 2022-3 as presented by Dina. So moved. Second. A motion and a second. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed the same. Motion's approved. Thank you, Dina. Thank you. Uh, second item under new business, a change order number one for Heron Point Storm Project. John Anderson. Morning, John. Morning, John Anderson, District Engineer. Uh, as part of this Heron Point uh, storm project we installed a we're, we were installing three new uh, structures and 200 and some feet of pipe uh, as part of the project after that major rain back in July um, it was obvious we had one other area where a inlet would be a good idea to install we added that into the project which was in the additional cost of the $4,700 and asking for approval of the change order and everything construction is complete so. okay 
Thank you, John. Tanya, any comments or questions? I appreciate you looking at the rain event and determining that we can make further improvements. So thank you for that, John. Mm -hmm. Adam? Uh, just a straightforward change of scope. We ask them to do some extra work, so we should pay them for it. Okay. David? Nothing I have. Thank you. Yeah. 11% increase. I appreciate you bringing it to the board. Um, anybody uh, would want to make a motion to approve the change order number one as presented by John? So moved. I'm second. A motion by Adam, second by David. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed the same. Thank you, John. Thank you. Any additional board topics? Tanya? I don't have anything. Thank you. Adam? Uh, you know, as always, thanks to all our employees for the things they do. Uh, do want to say something nice about Tim and Dustin, all the work they're doing with our IT after our little kerfluffle several months ago. Um, things seem to be taking shape and improving across the board, as you can see with our level 365 contracts and stuff. And they're also working on a couple other projects to kind of tie the district better together a little better with uh, consolidating programs. And I just appreciate the, the effort that they're going through on that part. So thanks, guys. Thank you, Adam. David? No, no, thank you. I uh, just want to give a quick update uh, to the public on our ongoing negotiations with Delaware Regional Wastewater District. Those continue to make good progress. Uh, things are, are uh, uh, very cooperative, and I appreciate Delaware Regional's uh, participation. Um, had a conversation with Bill Walters, and the question from them was, hey, if we can reach an agreement prior to the current agreement expiring, which is about October next year, could we go ahead and enter into the new agreement early? Of course, the answer there is yes. I think it would be a benefit to Delaware Regional. It would be nice for Muncie Sanitary District to lock in our largest wholesale customer uh, for uh, you know the next contract period. So things are going well there. I just want to provide an update. Uh, we've reached the point of the agenda where we'll take public comment. Anybody wishing to make public comment can uh, approach the podium, state your name and address for the record, and you'll have three minutes to uh, address the board. Got to keep this guy under three minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, good morning, board. I just want to make a kind of a public service announcement real quick for anybody watching. Um, my name is Jason Donati, stormwater recycling educator, and we're starting our fall neighborhood cleanups. So if anybody's watching and lives in these neighborhoods, I would encourage them to get a hold of their neighborhood association to participate. So September 10th, we're going to be doing the McKinley neighborhood, the Old West End neighborhood, Morningside, and Whiteley. So um, anyone in those neighborhoods can put stuff on the curb um, and then there'll be volunteers coming around to pick that up but I would encourage them to notify the neighborhood association if if they are putting stuff on the curb so it doesn't get missed and encourage people to actually help out with uh, loading and all of that but we will we will have our crews out there helping in those neighborhoods on September 10th so this Saturday uh, 8 30 to 11 30 or 8 to 11 30 and then Saturday September 17th we're doing the South Central neighborhood and the industry neighborhood. Um, so I would encourage uh, neighborhood neighbors to pr uh, participate in those. And then lastly, we're doing the 15th annual White River cleanup on Saturday, September 17th. Headquarters is at Westside Park. You can still pre-register for that. Um, that is from 8 a.m. to noon. And we uh, are in serious need of some crew leaders. Um, right now we have about six or seven and our goal is 30 because <laughs> we clean 15 miles of river. We like to have crew leaders at every section guiding the volunteers. So if anyone is interested in becoming a crew leader, it's, it's, uh, it's a volunteer position. Uh, you get a free t-shirt and um, you're basically just in charge of that, that section of the cleanup. Um, it's, it's easy, it's just something that we have for communications and, and it just helps with the flow of the event. So if anyone's interested in being a crew leader, uh, go to beautifulmuncie.org and sign up under the White River Cleanup tab, or they can get a hold of me at 765-716-2595. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Mm -hmm. Anyone else wishing to make public comment? Okay. Seeing none, our next uh, regular scheduled meeting will be Wednesday, September 21st. 2022, 11.30 a.m. right here in City Hall Auditorium. 
I would accept a motion to adjourn today's meeting. So moved. Second. A motion by Tanya, second by Adam to adjourn. All those in favor of adjournment signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed the same. Meeting adjourned. Have a great day.